So excited we're back here to deliver workout number five. And remember, we're in the intermediate version of the workouts. Workouts four through six are intermediate. Workouts one through three were beginners. So now for workout five, we're gonna get started. Are you guys ready? Jason, you're all set? Carrie, you all set? How you guys feel today? Awesome. Good, we're fresh, we're ready to go. Let's get started with the one leg squat again. So grab those handles overhand. Excellent, we're facing the doorway for this exercise. I want you to pick one foot, we'll elevate it. Good, and for 30 seconds, let's start the clock and let's go right down into our one leg squat. Again, the purpose of our exercise here is just to activate the glutes as much as we can before we get into the more intense fully suspended exercises. So we're feeling good here. You feeling that nice tight squeeze on the bottom range there, Jason? Good. Carrie, you getting the same? Mm -hmm. Excellent, so again, we're trying to keep a nice flat back. Everything's in good alignment and you're probably already feeling that core start to engage, right? We're good. So 30 seconds on this side and then we'll switch it up. We're almost there with this leg. In just two more seconds. All right, great start. Let's go ahead and move it to the other foot. We'll elevate that and we'll go right into it. Let's start the clock for another 30 seconds. And at home, go at your own pace. Do whatever feels most natural, most comfortable. I want you to focus on keeping a nice flat back. The hands elevated in front of you are gonna help you keep that position. And also where you really should be feeling it as well as through the core is through the glutes. Make sure you get a nice tight squeeze at that bottom range and then come right back up. And being on one leg now is gonna force you to stabilize a little bit more. Almost done with this exercise. In just one more second, Great job, great start. Okay, let's go right into our core activation for this workout. It's gonna be more of the quadruped. So I want you guys to put both feet in the straps behind you and your hands are gonna be on the floor in front of you. And once we're in position here, we'll start the clock. Just like we did with the last workout, we're gonna do 30 seconds per side. So pick a side to start out with. Go ahead and elevate the knees off the ground there for me, good. Good, now reach out with one arm, start the clock, excellent. And let's go ahead and tuck the elbows to the knees, awesome. Let's do this for a full 30 seconds. When you reach out, I want you to reach as far as you can, get full separation of the legs and the arms and then tuck them back in. And when you tuck them in, try to keep everything nice, tight and compact. That's gonna give us a desired result. Good, 30 seconds on this side. We're almost there, push through as best as you can. Keep going on the same side. Just three more seconds, we're almost there. And great, let's go ahead and switch right over to the other arm. If you need to take a break, for those of you at home, feel free, just pause the tape. Pick right back up where you left off when you're ready to go again. Awesome, getting nice core activation going here. How's this feeling, Kara? Good. Good. And while you're doing these, just be sure, keep nice and stable and maintain a good posture through the midsection and keep the hips elevated so they're not sagging too far low. That's what happens when we start to fatigue. So we wanna make sure we keep a nice elevated hip region. We only have a few more seconds on this exercise. And great, moving right along. You guys are doing awesome at home. We're gonna turn over to where we're lying on our backs and we're gonna put our feet right back in the straps and we're gonna do our hip lifts again. So we've activated the core, activated the glutes. Now we're ready to go into more of a hamstring exercise and still focus on that glute and core activation before moving on. Are you guys ready to go? 60 seconds here, hands down by your sides. Press those palms into the ground right beside you. And let's go ahead and lift the hips up. Excellent, the clock is going. We have 60 seconds for this exercise. And I want you to exaggerate this motion. I want you to lift the hips up. See how Jason's doing here. Literally as high as you can get them. Good. And Kara, the same thing. Literally as high as you can lift those hips. Awesome. You guys are doing great. How does this feel? Good. Feeling in your hamstrings? Right on the back of your legs? Excellent. So let's keep this going for a full 60 seconds. Everyone at home, you guys are doing great. We're already on workout five out of nine you're getting almost halfway to those results. So keep with us, we're gonna get you where you wanna be. Keep this up. Jason, you doing good? good. 60 seconds, awesome. Hips are coming up literally as high as you can possibly raise them. Awesome. You guys keep it up, everything looks great. We have a few new exercises to introduce to this workout, so Guys, get excited, we're having fun today. We're having fun while exercising. Just a few more seconds of this one, then we'll move on. Get there for me, and done, great job. Okay, we're gonna go into one of our new exercises that we're gonna introduce today. It's called the reverse jumping lunge. So we've done the reverse lunge, we're gonna progress the intensity a little bit, and we're gonna add a little hopping motion to it, okay? So let's show everyone at home how it's done. Jason, if you wanna go ahead and put one foot in the straps behind you, you as well, Kara. 
Great, take that front foot out in front of you, good. Now you're gonna go back into your reverse lunge, and then as you come forward, I want you to give me a little hop on the way up. So you're gonna come up, and then come up into a hop, okay? Make sense? Okay, you guys have done it before, we're gonna do 30 seconds on the side, so let's go right into it. Start the clock, give me a little hop, good. And as you hop, Remember the reverse arm swing. So if you're bringing your left leg up, Kara's doing it perfectly, match that by swinging your right arm up at the same time. Go ahead. You guys look great doing it. This is gonna increase and elevate the heart rate even more so than what we have done before through our glute and core activation exercises. But we're ready for that now. We're in the intermediate version of these. You guys are doing great. Just a few more seconds on this side and then we will switch it. And good, let's switch it up. Same thing on the other side. Just feeling a little bit more intense than what we were doing yesterday, Kara, already? Good. That's the purpose of this. So remember, before we move on into the advanced series, I want you to really master these exercises, feel fluid, feel confident and comfortable while you do those. Are you guys ready to do the other leg? 30 seconds, let's get it started. The clock is rolling. So when you're ready, let's go. Bend that back knee low to the ground, come right up into a hop, reverse arm swing. So if your left leg's coming up like Jason's is here, Make sure your right arm is swinging up at the same time. Looks perfect. Good, and now Jason, on workout five, is able to stay nice and stable and balanced through the core, through the lower body and posterior chain, and it's all because we've worked our way into this exercise. Kara, looks good, feeling good? Yeah. Awesome, you feel the heart rate elevating a little bit? Good, so there's 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and stop that exercise. Now we're gonna go right, we're standing, we're gonna go right back into a row with a reach, okay? So we're gonna introduce the upper body here. Go ahead and grab one handle there, lean back into it. When you feel comfortable, we're gonna do 30 seconds per side. So pick one arm, let's go ahead and two step motion, let's reach back. Let's start the clock, we'll open it up good. I want you to reach back as far as you can, turn into that, and then I want you to reach up high here to the Gorilla Gym as close as you can get to it. Good, when you're reaching up, reach up, take those fingertips towards the Gorilla Gym. Good, reach out, reach up towards the Gorilla Gym as high as you can get, excellent. And on the end range, we reach up to the Gorilla Gym. You guys look great doing it. For those of you at home, I want you to feel it through your sides. I want you to feel it through the core. We're engaging all 11 muscle groups at the same time in just 11 minutes. And that's how we're gonna get you all the results that we're after. How are you feeling here, Jason? Good? Just 30 seconds on this side. Let's push through it. A few more seconds to go, two and one. You guys are doing awesome. Let's go ahead and go on to the other side. And when you're ready, we'll get right into it. Keep the clock rolling, 30 more seconds on this side. Reach back as far as you can. Go at your own pace at home. A lot of people will like to reach back and really stretch as far as they can. Go for it. I want you to go at your own pace. Other people might want to feel that reach and get right back up into it. That's okay too. The goal is 30 seconds. Whatever works best for you for these 30 seconds, let's get through the exercise. And make sure, quick feet check, let's make sure the toes are pointed forward. And if they are, you guys are all set and ready to continue on. Almost done with this side, two seconds. Done, awesome. Okay, I know we've got the heart rate elevated a little bit already, but now it's time to blast some calories, okay? So let's get fully suspended on the Gorilla Gym and let's get into our running man. 30 seconds to start here. Remember one foot at a time in the straps, grab the handles one hand at a time. Kara's all set and ready to go, Jason. All set, ready to go? All right, let's start the running man. Start the clock, just 30 seconds time. Remember, if you still feel more comfortable with the short baby steps, that's okay too. At this point in time, I really want you to feel confident and comfortable doing the full running man position. So here we are, 30 seconds time. Get that heart rate up, get it up as high as you can. This is only gonna help us burn more calories and get better results for the rest of the workout. You guys are doing great, let's keep it going. Keep it going, we're coming down to the end of the 30 seconds, push for it. I want you guys to finish, just five more seconds, get there, come on, get there, almost. You guys are doing incredible, we're moving on, okay? Next is gonna be push-ups, okay? So we're in the suspended push-ups now, so, so Jason is demonstrating the more advanced version today, he's gonna stay suspended. I'll ask Kara to go ahead and take your feet to the ground, and let's grab those top straps and get in the push-up position. We can go ahead and start the clock, Jason, if you're ready, good. When we're doing the push-ups, let's just remember to keep the elbows in nice and tight so we take the stress off of the shoulders there. Great, and how does this feel right now, Kara, after just completing the running man? Is that heart rate pounding a little bit? Oh yeah. Good, so does this make that feel a little bit more intense as we get through there? Awesome. And here Jason is doing the fully suspended version. How, how are you feeling over here after that running man, good? 
a little out of breath, but that's completely okay. We want to have that heart rate jacked up as high as we can. Now, Kara, obviously you can increase the intensity a little bit here just by walking the feet a couple steps back. Great. And we'll keep this going for a full minute. I know you guys can get there. Just keep it up. For those of you at home that are struggling through this, it's worth it. Trust me, let's just keep it going. 60 seconds time. I know the heart rate's elevated. This is the meat of the workout. This is where we're really going to get the best results. Jason, you doing okay? All right, awesome. So, of course, if we're fully suspended, we just have a few more seconds left of this exercise. Remember to keep that nice flat line good. You guys can take a break, relax. We're moving right along. We're gonna do the ab rollout. So I don't need you to be fully suspended anymore. We can come down to our knees and hold on to those top straps there, just like you guys are doing. Good. Now, if you're ready to go, we'll demonstrate the ab rollout. We'll go ahead and start the clock for 60 seconds. So from both knees, just let your arms fall forward here. Lean out as far as you can into that position and come right back up. Good. How does that feel in the abs when you get fully stretched out there? Really good? Good. This is intense. Heart rate should still be elevated quite a bit. We're going to get into the running man in a little bit, a little bit later, but right now we're really focused on strengthening that core. We don't just want to have it activated anymore. We want to build some strength up through there so we can start to define those, define those muscles and get you the look that you want to get. So keep those going. Kara, how are we doing over here? Good. Feels good? You feel those muscles getting stronger with every rep? Good. Go at your own pace at home. Get through the 60 seconds. I know you can do it. We're getting there. We're almost there. You guys are doing a great job. Roll out, hold that, pull yourself right back up. Good. And when you pull back forward, try to keep those arms straight, almost like you're driving it through. Good. Almost there. Keep it up. Just four more seconds in two and one. Amazing. Let's move it right along here. We're going to go right back to our running man. So we'll get fully suspended again. One foot in the straps at a time, and then grab each handle, one hand at a time. All right, guys, so now we've had a couple minutes here. The heart rate might have leveled off a little bit, depending on your recovery time. It's time to jack it right back up. Are you ready? Let's go 30 seconds on the running man. Start the clock. Let's get right into it. Running man position, awesome. This is workout number five of nine, so I really expect you guys to feel comfortable with this running man position by this point. So if you're still not Take the baby steps, but it may be time to, to regress and go back through the first few exercises until you master those. But here's running man position. Keep it up for 30 seconds. You guys are doing awesome. We're getting that heart rate right back to where it should be elevated before finishing up the workout, okay? Almost there. Finish strong in just one second. And awesome. You guys are done with that. Now we're back to one of the favorites, windshield wipers. We're going back to core strength in the okay? So if you guys will grab the handles up top there. And remember, we can increase or decrease the level of intensities with our windshield wipers exercises, either by having your knees bent low to the ground or elevated pretty high. So Jason, if you want to start off with the max intensity, we'll go ahead and start the clock too. Okay, and Kara, if you want to show with the knees bent, windshield wipers side to side, excellent. Now, if this is too hard, a lot of people, most people won't be able to do this for a full minute. Jason, go ahead and bend the knees and just go at that pace. This requires a lot of upper body strength as well because you're hanging from the pull-up bar but one minute, we can do it. Find out where your current level is and what makes most sense to you and what feels the best. We're really trying to strengthen the core with this workout. How's that feeling there, Jason? Good? Good. Carrie, look like you're doing fine. Yeah? Okay. And we're doing this right after the running man. So again, you feel that heart rate. It's pretty jacked up, right? It's pounding right now. Great. So we're just gonna increase the, the strengthening factor here even more. Keep it up. We have one full minute of this. And guys, we haven't even been working out 10 minutes yet, but is there any one muscle that's not activated through this exercise or workout yet? No, go ahead, keep this going, you can do it. Two seconds, one, awesome job, done. Okay, the next one, we're gonna introduce another new exercise, it's called a reverse fly. Okay, so I'll have you guys stand and face the doorway gym here. Grab both of the top handles, good. Make sure the arms are straight out in front, you can lean back into it a little bit. We'll go ahead and start the clock, and just what we want to do is we want to open up our arms and squeeze that back. There we go. Doing the reverse fly here. Squeeze as tight as you can at that top range. Excellent. And again, this is another exercise where our feet are on the ground, so we can increase the intensity by walking the feet a little bit forward or a little bit back. You gotta really squeeze those back muscles tight together. Awesome. And that heart rate's probably still beating pretty fast, isn't it, Jason? Yeah. So. Just increasing the blood flow, increasing the 
calorie burn while we strengthen up these muscles at the same time. You guys doing good? Yeah. You guys are all doing excellent, amazing. For those of you, you at home, we're just going through this for one minute. We're almost to the end of this exercise. We're almost at the end of this workout. Just keep it up. The finish line in the end is in sight. I know you can do it. Just keep it going. Focus and keep it going. You got this, come on. Good, open, squeeze those back muscles tight, great. Okay, we're almost there, just a few more seconds left. And done with that exercise, excellent job you guys. Now, we wanna finish up the workout, more cardio. We always wanna end with the running man, right? So this time, let's try to push it through for a minute so we get two full minutes of a cardio blast within this workout. So let's get to fully suspended once again. And grab each hand strap one at a time. Good, we're just one minute away from the end of workout number five. Okay, we're back in the running man position here. We're gonna do this for 60 seconds. We have it on the clock. Everyone has their own style and way to run. Proper biomechanics show that when you bring one leg forward, you're bringing your other arm forward, your opposite arm forward, okay? So if I'm bringing my right leg up, left arm. If I'm bringing my left leg up, opposite arm is my right arm, it's gonna come forward as well. So we see Jason here is doing exactly that. As his left leg swings up, right arm swings out forward. Care the same way. How's this feel? Good. Good. So again, everyone has their own style. Proper biomechanics show opposite arm and opposite legs should swing at the same time. So that's probably what's gonna feel most natural and comfortable to you, and let's go with that. 60 seconds on the clock are going by. Keep this up, I know you guys can make it there at home. Let's just stay focused on the end. Keep everything moving. We're getting that heart rate up as high as we can get it before moving on with the rest of the workout. Everything feeling good? Good. Doing okay, Kara? Good. Okay, almost to the end, just a few seconds left. All right, great job, you guys, that was it.